Hey, hi, this is uh, RJ from Finpati, your finance partner. So um, I have seen um, or I actually kind of observed a very good structures which are formed into the IT space. Just want to bring it to your notice. So let's try to look at the broader index, which is uh, the nifty IT in that in that matter. So with a very uh, strong supports forming at uh, 25,000. So it is having a, a very strong potential that is uh, going to be in uh, where it is going where it is actually currently going to hit uh, uh, targets of 40,000 or even if, if it delays by any chance there is a higher chance of hitting even higher targets as well as the time goes on so currently it is into a positive re uh, positive region it has entered into the bullish uh, bull wave so we are kind of kind of seeing uh, a strong recovery which is forming uh, in, into a uh, strong recovery or a short covering which is going to happen in the nifty it space so um, let us also look at the strong participants of this um, Nifty IT as well, so which is the first comes obviously the TCS, the mammoth. So let's let's look at that. So here as well, you can see very strong volumes when you see this specific area. Uh, here, this is the way area where a lot of volumes been accumulated, and also you can see uh, in the recent lows there are a lot of volumes been accumulated by the big the big big bulls. So kind of uh, it's already into a very strong. Uh, uh, momentum as well you can see that uh, indicator where it is actually showing a very strong momentum and uh, once it crosses a uh, kind of 34 to 3500 then it's going to be a very strong upside potential that you can look at so probably it, it might form a kind of uh, uh, inverted uh, head, head and shoulders probably so once it hits the resistance zone out here it might actually uh, might drift a little slightly down and then again uh, i i expect it to form a very strong uh, neckline around 3500 levels once that is crossed i'm expecting a very strong up movement with a slight resistance again at, the, at a stronger volumes of 20 3700 levels so let's again uh, uh, shift into the next uh, good participant of this uh, nifty it which is hcl hcl as well looking very interesting you can also see there's a, a very strong volume being, being accumulated at this place <coughs> so here uh, as well i see that uh, the stock is slightly of course struggling a little to get into the positive zone so once it moves above this line so we are expecting it to move away uh, have a kind of a swift move into its um, upcoming targets where 1160 being a very strong resistance 1100 to 1150 1170 areas it's having a strong resistance but but still on a longer term uh, uh, short kind of medium to long term we are seeing a strong uh, upside potential coming in in this counter with a stop loss of uh, around 800 so you, you may also enter in case if this dips further so probably you can look at a possibility of entering at this levels of 830 or 840 levels and with a stop loss of kind of 800 levels or so and uh, let us also look into the tech mindra which is one of my favorite counter and again this as well very strong volumes very beautiful volumes being traded at this area so kind of this is acting as a very strong support and it is having a fibonacci ratio which is formed around 940 levels so the risk reward looking actually a very strong here in this counter so with that 9 940 levels where you can further go and uh, try to accumulate at this level in case if the price comes in you can you may look to average at this point or even at 900 levels slightly at 900 levels with the stop loss around 850 and you definitely can hit a uh, very strong targets of again obviously with an obvious resistance around 1400 levels you definitely can see for a target of 1700 levels in the short term short term to medium terms so when it comes to so uh, so when i actually spelled out a lot of uh, stocks already so kind of uh, tata uh, tcs infosys and even uh, uh, hcl and even uh, tech mahindra they all actually have formed beautiful structures but which stock to invest into in case if you are confused on which stock that you have to invest in all these when then the whole of the sector is anyway having a bullish bullish environment then i would rather say in case if you are having any such doubts then probably i would rather say to get into uh, the tata digital fund which is one of the cheapest fund which is available cheapest in the sense when it comes to the nav value than any than any of its competitors it is having a, a better edge of having a better number of units coming into it with a very strong uh, with, with a very the less expense ratio um, or, um, into it. So, and also you can look at, uh, it is kind of having a similar structure around here. So, it, as I said, the, the same bullish environment is forming in, in this uh, counter as well. 
kind of with 30 as a uh, kind of a 30 as a stop loss you definitely can expect uh, a target of 40 45 areas uh, in the uh, tata digital fund and you also can see um, a mammoth returns that it, that it, it could give kind kind of 100 percentage returns even if you go with a monthly sip of 5000 per month it could have given in the last five years it is it could have given a beautiful positive um, um, you know returns as well so in case if you're having any doubts on the recession and other things but uh, I, I would rather say technology is now not just a cost center it is definitely a, a, a very very important area that someone has to invest into in case if they want to have a competitive edge over the other other uh, uh, competitors so so now also you can also see the annualized is, uh, returns and absolute returns as well they are beautiful in numbers completely CAGR you can actually look at look at the CAGR numbers and you definitely can look into the holdings as well where it has all beautiful and the strong stocks which is having slightly exp uh, higher exposure than needed into Infosys but probably they might have a, their own strategy to um, uh, accumulate into this counter uh, because this is this could be a five <coughs> rupee face value stock then then you definitely can expect a, uh, in future a better uh, a stock split or even bonus or whatever that uh, five rupees face value is a higher, higher possibility of having the stock splits as well happening so yeah uh, so on a whole I see a very strong momentum coming up in the IT space as well and as I mentioned you can go further in, and look into this fund where uh, where the expense ratio is pretty much pretty much very minimal uh, expense ratio because anyway you don't expect a lot, huge turnover uh, turnover which is a churn ratio uh, it's pretty much you know uh, low for this specific uh, uh, digital fund had had because uh, especially that being a very focused fund or thematic fund you can you don't expect the expense ratio to be too high and exit load as well is based pretty much the low so definitely you can look at this fund in case you if you are not confident in picking the right stocks by any chance thank you so much that's it for now we'll catch up again uh, do subscribe to my channel youtube uh, youtube and even the uh, uh, my telegram channel finpati thank you so much